Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. Today we're going to be discussing a medication known as Miprotoline. Its brand name is Luteomil. And before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. And quickly, if at any time during this video you find this information to be valuable, please consider leaving a like on the video as it would really help me with the YouTube algorithm. So first, what will we cover in this presentation? We'll start by talking about how meprotoline works. We'll then discuss indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, followed by contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe meprotoline. We'll then discuss examples of dosing, and then stick around to the end where we'll talk about side effects with percentages. So how does meprotoline work? Well, meprotoline is a tetracyclic antidepressant that is structurally related to the tricyclic antidepressants. It selectively inhibits norepinephrine reuptake into the presynaptic neuron. In terms of indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, we often see it used in mixed anxiety and depression disorder. It may be used to treat the depressed phase of bipolar disorder, as well as dysthymia, or a persistent mild depression. With respect to contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe meprotoline, we wouldn't give this medication to a patient who had a hypersensitivity to meprotoline or any other component of the formulation. As well, patients who have used a monoamine oxidase inhibitor in the last 14 days would not be able to use meprotoline. Patients with seizure disorder should avoid this medication, and it shouldn't be used during the acute recovery period following a heart attack. Now what about dosing with meprotoline? So in mixed anxiety and depression disorder, if the patient is an outpatient, they may use 75 milligrams per day orally in two or three divided doses for two weeks. Then the patient may increase in 25 milligram increments up to a maximum of 225 milligrams per day. If the patient is an inpatient, however, they may start off with 100 to 150 milligrams per day, again orally in two or three divided doses for two weeks, and then again they may increase in 25 milligram inc increments up to 225 milligrams per day. For maintenance therapy, we may see 75 to 150 milligrams per day orally as a single dose or given in divided doses. Now, as with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using meprotoline, so we'll go over some of those here now. 8% of patients may experience dizziness, while 6% may, ex may experience a feeling of nervousness. Somnolence may happen 16% of the time, and constipation may happen 6% of the time. Xerostomia, or dry mouth, may happen in 22% of patients, and 4-12% to of patients may experience blurred vision. Now, some more rare but serious side effects would be a myocardial infarction, or heart attack, bone marrow depression, or suicidal thoughts. That's all we're going to talk about today with meprotoline or luteomil. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. That's it for today. Take care.